Yo, what up? It's Mr. V, man, uh, with another music slash DJ tip um, that I wanted to post a video of. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you how I organize myself in iTunes and how I keep all my music um, organized in terms of what I need to do, um, regardless if I use Serato or Tractor. Um, I wanted to show how my system works and how I think it'll best work for anybody, not just DJs, but just people who love music. Um, but it's more so for DJs, but, you know, in general, it could work for, uh, people who love, um, uh, to have themselves organized in their iTunes anyway. So real quick, before we begin with that, um, I just wanted to also brief you real quick on what's the difference between a .wave, a .aiff, and a .mp3 file. Um, obviously the .wave file is a master file, um, straight direct from the studio it's the original sound quality file that's uncompressed uh that comes direct uh from the final mastering of a record so um the difference between a dot wave and a dot aiff sound quality wise there is none but there are certain features that you can do with the aiff that you can't do with a dot wave file in other words you can't embed cover art like I do so as you can see on the Steffi record yours that I'm playing right now it has the artwork all right it has the artwork for the Todd Todd Turhey record that I put right here and these are all AIFF files this is why I, I prefer AIFF instead of wave because I need that now one way I have my things set up is I have things in my iTunes and categories stuff that I like funk Latin soul hip-hop reggae you know, all my stuff, the the Bang It Out se the section, the Afrobeat City, my acapellas, my 90s house, my classic house, my disco stuff. Everything is all in categorized and um, in uh, sp specific genres, right? Um, for each release, I have cover art and I have all the information. So for Ragish, I just hit Command I. And I put all this information in it myself. I could have put the year and everything, but I don't really need it. Uh, 4A lets me know what key it's in, the song. So um, if I ever needed to play it or remix it, I know what key it's in. So when I get do my keyboard work, I know where it goes. And that's the artwork, which I get myself. How do I get it? Dude, just Google search Ragish. Todd Turhey, and then go to images, and you should see images of the song that you're looking for. Drag it to your desktop, and then just drag it inside your iTunes, and you're all set to go. Um, I think that's pretty much it, man. Oh, another cool thing I'm going to show you in another video, which I've been dying to do, is this joint. Oh, you like that, right? Yeah, it's a graphic equalizer that's made for iTunes. Um, this is the new version that's made for uh, iTunes 10.6.8. It's not made for Lion yet, from what I understand. But, yeah, dude, this is pretty dope. It stops. Uh, it, it's it's just pretty hot, man. It, plays, it shows me my artwork uh, before things start, all the music that I have. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty badass, man, but I'm going to show you how to get this on my next video. I'm not going to tell you that, but, um, again, this is how, uh, this is how I have my, my stuff set up. I have a rating system as well. That's the one thing I wanted to touch as well. The rating system right there, you know, I, I get flooded with promos and I not saying that I don't have time to listen to them. I do, but when I rate them, it lets me know if they're hot, if they're like five stars means I got to play it in the club peak hour. Four stars, same thing. Three stars means, you know, when I'm getting ready to take you there, then this is a perfect warm-up record to start getting you warmed up with so that I can start getting into my higher, you know, rated records. Uh, two and one means if I'm just starting the club and there's nobody in there... I'm playing jams like that. So I have my own rating system. And the best part about doing this and the reason why I did this video is because if you do everything in iTunes and you have it set up the way I do, you can 
if you buy another hard drive, you can copy everything you have and all the artwork and everything that you just did will forever be stored. So if you're not a DJ and if you haven't been into laptop DJing and you just start, if you have it the way I have it, no matter if you get Tractor or Serato, your library is going to already be read with the artwork and everything else embedded in the file itself. Even if it's an MP3 320. Remember, WAV files, you can't do artwork. You can do the information, you just can't do artwork. But AIFF and M uh, MP3 320s, you can. So, again, if you buy Serato and if you buy Tractor and if you open your iTunes and if you transfer your songs, I mean, Serato just reads from your iTunes. So, it's gonna you, you, the artwork is going to show up along with your rating system. The only job you have to do in Serato or Tractor is setting your cue points. That's it. All right? I think this is a flawless system, the way I have things set up. And I wouldn't be sharing this with you if, if I didn't think this would help you a lot. Obviously, if you're a digital DJ, you know, always carry Serato time code like I do. Uh, I always carry a spare in here if I need to make CDs at a, at a party. And another good tip, too, is to carry the time code in a USB stick. You know, if you lose the CDs... You know, when you're at a gig to the DJs who DJ out there, and if you use time code, put it on a USB stick so you can always have the file itself, and you could use the USB stick as a time code. I learned that one from JoJo Flores, so shout out to JoJo on that. But um, yeah, I, like I said, I, I I really think this system works. Um, if you go about this system this way, it should definitely help you out. Um, you know, if you're gonna get into the di digital DJ world of uh, Serato and Tractor or any. DJ type of, you know, DJ software you're going to get into. But this is the best way to go, man. You go, you only do this once. And, uh, you know, like I said, I have things in categories. You know, Raggish, this joint right here, I would put in my new disco section. So, you know, everything is in sections. Like, I'll show you real quick. This is my 90s house. All the, all the 90s jams are in there. Acapellas, effects, all my Afrobeat stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you literally got to, you know, all my broken beat stuff. All my classic house stuff is in there. So I literally take each song, I listen to it, I add the artwork, I rate it, and then I drag it into these categories. And again, you only do this once. If you don't do it like this, and if you get Serato or Tractor, it's just a pain in the butt if you don't have all that together because you're going to have to do it over and over every time you normally get a new software dj software system that you're introduced to you got to do the same steps over and over but if you do it once in itunes you don't got to worry about that all right so again this is mr v's dj tip for i guess for 2012 but enjoy man i hope this system works for you as it does for me all right peace